Hello, my name's Simonize, and welcome to another Simonize stream. We're here on the hardcore classic era server, Bloodsail Buccaneers. This, you know, we're here in Scarlet Monastery. We've got Tarek, Talari, Pooh Factory, and Cheating is our squad of adventurers to clear out the Scarlet Monastery. And I am here on my level 40 rogue, Simonize 2. We're looking to try to get the uh, Sword of Serenity. Is a real going to be a really big weapon upgrade for us. Oh, they're going to Graveyard first. Okay. Uh, the add-on would yell at me if uh, I grouped up with someone who was not uh, hardcore verified, so I'm pretty sure we're fine. Alright, we'll put instant poison on both of them. Keep it moving. We got Tarek as our tank. Uh, let's see. Windows. Open up the threat window. There we go. Scarlet Torturer. Little cheap shot. Okay. We go. Oh, charging in. Okay. Oh, we got some ads here, but these are these are super low level for us, so it's totally fine. Kick to interrupt. Okay, iron lockbox. That lockbox is that that's rogue only, right? Like, because you guys can't trade with me to get it opened. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I mean, sure, whatever. Alright, so we're starting in the graveyard side. Uh, you know, it's very low level for this group, but, like, there's four segments to Scarlet Monastery, and there, there's, like, a huge level range. So, we're coming here, we're clearing out the whole thing. Brother Boar says, hello, YouTube, I'd like to say hello to myself since I'll be watching this again. <laughs> Excellent. Sure, go ahead. I got five agility, five stamina, so like mine, mine are okay. I let the hunter take it. I hope the hunter in the future recognizes. <laughs> never, never mind, that was stupid. I shouldn't have just let the hunter take it. I should have rolled for him. Whatever, it's over. I thought, like, this isn't that big of an upgrade for me. It kind of doesn't matter. So, like, maybe I give the... Let, let the other people take that one. With the thought that they would pass in the future. But l let's be real. that That's maybe probably not going to happen. <laughs> Everyone's going to get as much loot as they can.
Glimmering male coif helmet. Let's greet. King's blood, King's blood. Yeah, we don't care too much about those. This this segment is like really short. The graveyard is one boss. I don't know. There, there's a couple of potential rare spawns that can be can be here, but I haven't seen any of them yet. There's like three different ones. There's Iron Spine, who's like a skeleton who spawns in one of either here or here. Then there's a red knight. Um, forget what it's called, but it spawns either here or there. And then there's one more that can spawn here or here. It's like a cast or something or other. Haunting phantasm. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, whatever. Focus the skull target. Can more than one rare spawn spawn in the same dungeon? I do not know. It'd be very unlikely. Where are we going? This way. Okay. Oh, these are... Oh, we, we're finally getting a green level mobs that'll actually give a little bit of experience. Not much, but not zero. Okay, so far so good. A little bit of an ad right here. Gonna you know, focus on the low health ones. Slice and dice refresh with those combo points. Veil of Shadows went out. I'm not sure what that does. Oh, I get another lockbox. Okay. Two lockboxes so far. I'll take it. Hopefully something in one of these is actually good. Kick, interrupt that veil. Scroll of intellect. Can do the intellect buff on that guy. Perfect. Kick cannot interrupt this guy's shadow bolt. What do we get? Blood mage mantle cloth. All right, greed. We're out of here. On to the library. Be the next section. Lord Valcom, hello. All good so far? Yeah, we just wiped out graveyard. Uh, graveyard side. So, you know, the there wasn't... The, graveyard was not expected to be, you know, eventful in any way. And, you know, it was not. So, there we go. Oh, there's a large ironbound chest over here. I can unlock, and th this one, I can unlock it and then let you guys loot it.
We got a night sky cloak in there, and now that I've unlocked it, any of you can loot that. Alright, well, if no one needs it, I'm gonna loot it and vendor it. I, uh... I got myself down to 19 silver after buying my mount. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no one said. Everyone said they didn't want that, so then I just like scooped it up. We'll vendor it. Ah, right, we're done with graveyard here. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think if there's actually any loot drops in the dungeon that are good for me. And I think, like, there's Arcanist Done in... There's Arcanist Done in Library. He drops a staff and a caster dagger. You know, neither of those are good for me. There's Houndmaster. I think there's a leather glove with, like, attack power to beasts. Yeah, I know the quest rewards are good, but... The, um, but the, I'm talking about the drops in the dungeon itself. Bulk of the bear, slicer of the bear, uh, that's, no, my lockbox stuff wasn't very good. Okay, so we'll start on library side now. All right, they're moving up. We've still got poisons active, so we're good. Little blade flurry. You know, big dam. Boom. Okay. Okay, good. Let's go on this one. We have to interrupt. Finish him off, get the slice and dice. Go to this one. Feral Druid is doing about as much damage as the other damage dealers, I think. Undead drops 14 attack power bracers. Shit, that would be really good for me. We've still got wolf bracers from level 20. stun so it doesn't run perfect yeah rappers most people who make it like past level 30 in hardcore are not trolls <laughs> they're like m most m most people are too stupid to make it past level 30 in hardcore like, at this point, dungeons are, I would say, pretty safe. Because you can, you know, reliably assume that, you know, if you've made it this far in Hardcore Classic, you know what the hell is going on. Or at least, somewhat. And plus, you know, if something goes wrong, it's fine. That's what we've got Vanish for.
Uh, Houndmaster to be, yeah. Well, we can clear out, you know, this room or whatever, and then go there. Slice refresh. Dog whistle is three times. Yeah, it's limited uses. I'm not sure if it's three or if it's more than that. I think it's at least it's at least three. Stun right before he tries to run away. That's really nice to help control the mobs, especially in a space like this where like there's more mobs right next to us. And I realized I only had one crippling poison, so I'm saving it for later. <laughs> Classic Simon eyes showing up unprepared. Yeah, him and the three hounds. Right, watch this shit. We're gonna pop off cooling energy. Slice and dice. Blade flurry. Set up a big blade flurry right there. Houndmaster Loxy slain. Huge blade flurry. Alright, what do we got? Dog training gloves. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, like, I'd put those in my bags and I'd use them in uh, Stranglethorn. Does anyone else really want them? Oh yeah, beast hunting gloves. Okay, well, we, these are good for our adventures in Stranglethorn. 30, I mean, 30 attack power is no joke. I mean, like, my gloves have 5 attack power on them, okay? Like, Infiltrator, Pants of the Bear, yeah, we do not need those. We got the Trip Runners. Unlock this thing. Death Weed, don't need that. Okay. No, like, we were just questing in Stranglethorn. We're going to go back and do more quests in Stranglethorn. If we've got, like, gloves with plus 30 attack power against beasts, I'm going to hold those, and I'm going to actually use them. Uh, it's one-to-one -one attack power for... Uh, rogues. Uh, one, one agility makes one attack power and a little bit of crit chance and a little bit of dodge chance. Night Sky Gloves. Stamina, Int, Cloth. Not for me. Oh, careful. There's mobs left and right. Alright. I'll have my stun ready to go here. Perfect. Yeah, I can unlock that chest. Perfect. Dude, this is why you gotta bring Rogue to your group in a dungeon. Can't be missing out on those chests. Oh, someone just leveled up. Who was it? 
Who factory? Oh, that was that was the hunter pet. Yep, opening it up. That looks good. I hope that's good for someone. Oh, maybe not. Interrupt that mana burn. Okay. Let's see what they're gonna pull. Can you can you can you like fairy fire these or does he have to charge in? I don't think I've seen him like fairy has, has he been fairy firing and like pulling? Does he have to go in caster form? Time, do you play any other games than WoW? Uh yeah, Diablo 4 next week. <laughs> when it comes out, I'll play that. Where's your early access streamer key? Nah, dude, I didn't get one of those. I did, I did get included in the, um, if you, if you guys are also playing Diablo 4 and you watch me when I'm playing Diablo 4, you'll be able to earn drops. Um, there's like a mount for watching, I think, and or subscribing to one of your, uh, a, a streamer who's included in the drops program. I, I got into the drops program for Diablo 4 streaming. So that is Pog. Yes. Do a blade flurry here. Let's pop off. Oof, that guy ran a little bit. All right. Yeah, it was a it was a limited access thing of like they only were going to include so many people and I like I applied for it and I was randomly selected. So, I'm happy about that. It was like, I mean, come on, like if you're going to watch a Diablo streamer that can get earn you a mount in the game versus one that is not going to earn you a mount in the game, it's like Come on, uh, obviously. I mean, well, that, that's gonna that's gonna be a deciding factor for a lot of viewers, I would say. Drops enabled in title, true, of course. Okay. Oh, re-up poison. My Kovork's rattle poison is, uh, run out. Yeah, okay, this is how he does range pulls. He has to go caster mode, and then I think it's a moon fire he was doing. Haven't seen any footage of D4, but can't imagine they're going to succeed with it. I mean, I think... I, I don't know. It, it seems like Blizzard has invested a lot in this game. You know, seeing what they're doing around the game, I feel like Blizzard is very invested in the success of this game. Whereas, like, I don't feel the same way about them and classic World of Warcraft. Uh, you know, lack of customer support, lack of, uh, well, whatever. I'm, that's a kind of different thing. I, I mean, I, from what I've seen from Diablo 4, like, one, I've played in the beta weekends. It's fun. That's like the most important thing for me. It's fun. The reason Simon isn't getting the ZG mounts because he doesn't have drops in April. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. That's probably it. 
Wait, I don't think I have this quest, Mythology of the Titans. Uh, oh well. You have not done this quest. Uh, you know what? Who cares? Yeah, where where can I enable? Oh shoot. Okay, we're good. Oh, let me see. Is that a mythology quest shareable? Yeah, sure. Why not? Thank you. Good, good suggestion, Owe. Thank you. Where is the book? Uh, Aftermath of the Second War. What is the name of this quest? Retrieve the Mythology of the Titan. Oh, there it is. Oh, it has to respawn, I see. Flurry. I think I waited too long on this one. Should have popped it earlier. And eh, not not too much earlier. Big damn. Okay. What the hell is this music? Can't be having that weeb music on my stream, okay? Can't- basically can't tolerate anything with lyrics, period. <laughs> I don't want it. I want background music. Insignia cap, stamina intellect. Nope. Not for me. Got it, yep. Prevent that mana burn, nice little stun. Moving into the final hallway of the library section of Scarlet Monastery. Interrupt that also. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Easy pickpocket. One hand only. What do we use when we get Sword of Serenity? We probably keep Cruel Barb in the offhand, because it just has more secondary stats, or maybe we pick Kovorx, because it has more weapon DPS. Wonder how much... Yeah, maybe Kovorx is better. Got seven attack power. This only has five more attack power, so, like, yeah, Kovorx is probably better. Prediction for the- I don't think the Epic Ring is in Classic. I don't think that drops here. I think that got added in TBC, actually. Dead Man's Hand. Three mobs incoming. Big Blade Flurry.
huge damage. Look at that. Depends on what patch it is, really? Well, I mean, I mean, I think the Dead Man's Hand was a TBC pre-patch thing. But yeah, I mean, whatever, we'll see. Okay, just a couple more mobs, and then it's boss time. Yeah, the trash drops are, like, super rare. I would not expect to see any rare trash drops. That's why I'm mostly thinking about the boss drops. Make up a couple more poisons here. Yeah, Nedge, we were just talking about the... I, I assume you're talking about the Dead Man's Hand Epic Ring. I think that is not in Classic, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay. Time for DPS. Your boss is almost dead already, bro. Oh, we gotta run? Okay, back in. Bro, that got that boss got demolished, dude. It wasn't even close. Robe of Doan and Hypnotic Blade. Yeah, if any caster actually wants that, go for it. Uh, otherwise, it's a weapon up DPS upgrade for me. Need. Okay, someone put need on it. Okay. Scarlet Key. Okay. That's a 26 DPS weapon, dude. This is literally just an upgrade for me. Shit. <laughs> Whatever. We're getting we're getting quest reward weapons. We don't need uh we don't need to worry too much about that. And we definitely need to clear out all the mobs in Armory. I've seen a lot of clips of they like pull Herod and it has aggroed the entire place, and then like they skipped some mobs and they're dead. <laughs> yep. Just saying that we gotta full clear all the mobs in armory. Okay, good, good, good. Is the hardcore server some kind of private server? No, this is uh, Blood Sail Buccaneers uh, official Blizzard server. Classic era server raffers. 
the hardcore community uses an add-on, which is just called hardcore, uh, that tracks your player behavior, what you do, make sure, like, so, so it gives you a verification of, like, is this actually a character that hasn't died? Has it been monitored since its creation through the add-on being here? Like, that kind of stuff. You take the sword or dagger at the quest reward? Definitely the sword. Definitely the sword. We want two swords because we're going to be... Oh, I have a talent point. <laughs> uh, what do we want here? Probably sword spec. Um, we want two swords because we're going to be combat with sword specialization. You know, I'm going to put a point there, then a point there, then a point there. Wait, no. I'm level 40, so I need point there, then point there. That's how that's going to look. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. But, like, I'm going to get the quest reward, Sword of Serenity, and then I'm going to get the quest reward from Razor Fen Downs also. So it's like, when it comes to weapon, if, like, if they're worse than those, it's kind of like... I just need to, you know, complete these quests, so I'm not too concerned about it. The RFD quest uh, is in the chapel in Stormwind. You just have to be level 39. Yeah, basically same level. Yep. All right, we had a little, a little quick bathroom break. Now it's time for armory. As we progress through these, they get slightly higher level. And yeah, we'll get Thrash Blade when we get to you know 50-ish to do Marod and Marod and Maradon. Whatever, you can get the quest at 45, and then if you have someone, like, boost you through, you, that's as early as you can possibly get Thrash Blade. But if you're gonna try to, like, actually clear the dungeon, you gotta be a little bit higher than 45. She's coming, she's coming. And another one. Chief Brigadier Cloak, 3-7, and we have a 5-5. Five, five. Nah, not good for us. I've got a 5-5 five, five already, so not needed really for me. Oh, shit, dude, look what the Hunter has. He just linked this. Wing of the Whelpling. He's got a 4-10 Cloak. Little blade flurry here. Okay. Long redwood bow. That's a greed roll from me. Mm-hmm. Yep, just everything. That's what I would prefer. Pickpocketing everything. Delaying... I uh, Look, I'm not delaying my DPS, okay? I'm waiting for aggro while pickpocketing every single mob, okay? It's different. I'm not griefing the group to get extra pickpockets. I'm 
making an excuse to justify me griefing the group to get extra pickpockets, okay? It's different. I got into combat. Damn. I, I was trying to get as close as I could before I stealth. Now I don't get to pickpocket these. distract on it they, they called out on voice that there was a pat coming in that's why I was spinning my camera around trying to figure out where the what the hell they were talking about and I eventually found it it was that got the interrupt best hardcore death I mean I mean, you, you can post it, but I'm not going to look at it right now. I'm doing a dungeon. Actually, I think you can't post it because it might, uh, it probably censors the link. I feel like I, I have this weird system where, like, some, I have some people as VIP status and then they can, they're allowed to post links. And then most people aren't allowed to post links. I feel like I should just change it to everyone can post links or no one can post links. But... Yeah, that's that's the way it is right now. I'm doing Scarlet Monastery. If you want to post it, Moosty, on the Discord, I'm sure there there's no restrictions on that, and I'm sure a lot of people would uh, be happy to check it out. Again, waiting for a threat generation. That's what I'm doing while I'm pickpocketing the mobs. You watch the Barney 64 video for Scarab Lord. Yes. I've seen that one. That, that's a really... That's... I mean, it is honestly some of the best World of Warcraft content that exists. Pretty good blade flurry there. Was able to recover my damage output on this pull, even though I was waiting for threat at the start by pickpocketing three different mobs. Ooh. I can still unlock that one. I got unstealth too. My habit is to just unstealth as immediately as combat starts so that like I can move up faster. Because that's what my like Wrath of Lich King raid brain wants to do. But it's like, here, I really just want to pickpocket all the mobs. Yeah, two points in Remorseless Attacks and the rest of my points in Combat. Yeah, I can get it. Arcane Wrath and some food and water and two healing potions. All right, here we go. St Dude, I tried to push it too late, and now I didn't get to stealth. Got to back, get back into the groove of things, pickpocketing everyone. I ran, this guy was casting, I ran to go interrupt the, a new guy, and I lost focus for just a second, and the main guy I was attacking was casting. Interrupt that, okay, that's good.
Okay, we're definitely pickpocketing this time. Waiting for the tank to go. Okay, there we go. Pickpocket, tab, pickpocket, tab, pickpocket. Blade flurry. Blade Flurry is hitting both of them right now. Pretty good. Silk Cloth. How's my poisons? Yeah, we gotta refresh this one. Almost out. Four charges left. Okay, we got into stealth. Pickpocket, pickpocket. <laughs> Did you get the early pass Diablo thing? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Your damage add-on looks funny with low... D yeah, the DPS numbers being, you know, in the hundreds rather than in the thousands or ten thousands. Um, yeah, it's a little... it's a little different. Yo, we can crit way higher than a hundred. Our Sinister Strikes with Kovork's Rattle, dude, they're crazy. A weapon crate. Okay, weird music again. Let's just skip all of the rest of the Castlevania soundtrack. Elden Ring mix. That's what I'm about. Okay, dude, I'll just interrupt every single spell the caster does. It's fine. Easy. Carrying. Carrying by interrupting every single spell the caster did. No flame strikes, no fireballs. Did you actually play Elden Ring? No, but, uh, the music's good. Is that cru Cruel Barb still? Listen. Um, uh-oh. I think I got Moonfired. Okay, good. It is also Cruel Barb still. That That's true. Okay, Myrmidon's a little bit scary. Could do more stuns on them, I suppose. Look, I actually had a weapon that was better than it, but it was only a little bit better. And the newer weapon vendored for a whole gold, and Cruel Barb only vendored for 30 silver. So I elected to vendor the one gold item that was a minor upgrade. Uh, they called for a crowd control, so I thought I'd go out and uh, do the blind. But, uh, it looks like it just got, like, swiped or whatever. These are dying at the same time. That's not good. I mean, I'm on X mark. That's gotta be the kill mark, right? Okay. 
Night Sky Armor, Aurora Boots. Intellect, Stamina, Spirit. Yep, greed, greed. All right. We definitely could find a upgrade for Tunic of Westfall at, by this level. go switch over here oh they want to kill the defender first okay okay easy how's my inventory looking not good I should delete that and pick lock some of these junk boxes. We just let them chill over there. We need to free up this inventory space here. We could also free up some inventory space by crafting more poisons. Get rid of that. Craft a couple more of these. Maybe five more. We'll save an, a whole inventory slot. Rogue Giga Damage? Not right now. Okay. There we go. Okay, now we got a couple more inventory slots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is there any Giga item in SM for rogues? Can't think of any. Not that not that I can think of that drops off of the bosses, but we have a really big quest reward. Um, we're going to get Sword of Serenity, which is, which is a good upgrade for us. That's a 30 DPS weapon right there, okay? Like, we're working with an 18 and a 15. A little blade th flurry, okay. Look, whenever we get to blade flurry, it is actually giga damage. And we are very good. We can interrupt spells with like four different abilities. <laughs> like we have a lot of spell interrupts. We've been able to lock down some of these caster mobs quite nicely for the group. Pickpocket, pickpocket. Uh oh. We got a skull target. New skull. I got a blind for. Uh, no, I don't have a blind. I can gouge and interrupt a lot. Got a takedown skull. little bit scary not a super not a problem really
There we go. Look, no problem. Yeah, Raffers, the secondary stats on Sword of Serenity, they're, they're not really that interesting or good in any way. I mean, the stamina is fine, but like, mostly what we care about is that weapon DPS. off all the pickpockets of course as any good rogue should let's be honest dude i saw the hunter dead on the i glanced over here and it said hunter dead and it was, it was a friggin feign death dude <laughs> Blinded one. Didn't get the interrupt off. Finish him on that. Finish him off. Okay. Stun during the uh, enrage. Andrew's mantle of intellect. Eh, don't need that really. Okay. Okay, hair odd time. Hang on one second. Okay, we have killed every mob in the instance. All right, hair out the boss. You need to inspect loot more? What? What do you mean inspect loot more? Run away? I do not want to take damage from that. What, he just he just stays there the entire friggin' time? What's what's this guy doing? Okay, he was trying to heal himself. Okay. Okay, more damn. Going again. Raging Berserker's Helm. That's a good mail item. Okay. Incoming, incoming. We got some mobs. Okay, these were, that was significantly less scary than I thought. <laughs> those, those guys like all got one shot. All right, there's one wing left. It's cathedral time, boys.
on the way out. We've defeated Arcanist Doan, Houndmaster Loxy, uh, and Herod of the Armory. Time to go to the Cathedral for White Mane and Mograine. And Inquisitor Fairbanks. Can't forget about Inquisitor Fairbanks. You know, like the zombie they keep in the closet. You know, just like everyone, normal people do that, right? Like normal people just keep zombies in the back closet, you know, the back room of the whatever. I'll take that. Uh, one inventory slot left. Wool cloth, get rid of that. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to make some choices here. Scroll of strength. Uh, I'll just use scroll of strength on someone in the group. Uh, scroll of strength for the paladin. Sure. That's an inventory slot. Where would you keep them? In the kitchen with the women? <laughs> no. I mean, I guess there really isn't anywhere good to keep a zombie. If you're gonna keep a zombie. It's just like, it's gonna be awkward no matter where you keep your zombie. Also, I can get rid of five flash powder. I don't need two stacks of flash powder at any given time. Alright, there we go. Myrmidons. I think we're just going to try to keep crafting poisons. <laughs> One little poison craft right there. Is there RFD after? Probably not. It's getting a little late. It's getting close to dinner time for me, so I don't want to embark on a whole nother dungeon quest that's going to have to be saved to uh, uh, next week. Oh my god, we stealthed way too early. Open up the poison window so we can get ready to craft the poison really quickly. Big stun. Poison weaving. Me, I'm out of work in four hours. Damn, Simon, keeping me awake. Oh, no. Well, you know what? Look, the stream's just that good, Raffers. Can't put it down, huh? Well, what, what you can do, Raffers, if you want to watch Simon I's show at, like, you know, more reasonable hours, eh, there's a whole bunch on YouTube. Uh, if you just search Simon I's show TV on YouTube. There's that's basically o almost everything I stream just goes up as a VOD on YouTube, and it's, like, segmented out to, like, little different things, so... You know, about two hours. I try to aim for about two hour per VOD upload. Crafting poison. Sorcerer coming through. We're in combat. Okay. Poison crafting again. Look at we're gonna have so much inventory space from doing all these sick poison craft weaves. Oh, I stunned that guy. At Come 
Uh, we only have one more poison craft weave to do. There we go. Perfect. Op optimal. Now we have four inventory slots. Huge. Hi, Simon. Great to see you doing dungeon, Clo. How's it going? Doing great. Did you end up getting your level 40 training? So you have a few gold coins. Um, We haven't done any level 40 training. I don't think there's anything super good for us at level 40 anyways. Um, Yeah, we, we've got six gold now. That's not bad. We did a little bit of questing in Stranglethorn Vale uh, to recover some gold after buying the mount. Well, Raffers, if you gotta get to bed, you know, get to bed. That That's important. I know when we get to level 42, there's a pretty important, um, we can get upgraded slice and dice. I know that, but I think at level 40, there's not that, not really that much. Good. Going through, just clearing every single mob. Got another junk box that helps my lock picking skill. Oh, shoot, look at this. My poisons ran out. Wonder how long ago that was. <laughs> Friggin' poisons. Dude, poisons are, like, you don't think about them that much in Wrath of Lich King, and it's like, they just fall off all the freaking time in Classic Era. And it's, uh, it's kind of a different thing to get used to. Essence of Agony. Just delete that right now. Do not need. Any other uh, herbalist in the group? Sure thing. Playing like Bell Rock. <laughs> Bro, guys, just listen. How did not give Bell Rogue so much crap about forgetting poisons? Okay, listen. I gotta put Distract on my bar, dude. It's on my stealth bar, but it should be on my non-stealth bar, too. There we go. Control R. Clo, 1989, coming in with a tier one three months in advance. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate that. Willing to send the three months right off the bat. Love it. Cool. Does that get you your sub? I don't know. Does that get you your sub badge for three uh, three months right away? Oh, you posted in chat, and it's looked like... That's weird. Doesn't give you sub badge right away, even if you pay for three weeks at... I think it should. 
but that doesn't seem to be giving you get little hat icons next to your uh next to your name those are the sub badges in this channel Easy, easy. We burned through all of our rested XP. Actually, we burned through the rest of that, like, a while ago, actually. But we're coming up on 41. I mean, look at this. One, two, three, four. You know, four and, uh, four and change bubbles left to go. We'll probably be pretty close to 41 by the time this is over. Distracted. Uh, what's the wizard going to try to cast next? Bro, can he... <laughs> Just casting instant cast spells, dude. I can't interrupt any of those. Junk box off of the Myrmidon. Nice. Cheap shot opener. Keep him locked down. I think I just spent the better part of one hour farming up like 50 turtle scales that I don't need. Did you think you needed them for something? Because, uh, yeah, that's what feels bad, man. <laughs> if you, you, like, thought you needed it and you got it and then you're like, wait, I don't actually need this. Yeah, that would be, that would be a big oof. Uh, yeah, I basically don't use Eviscerate while grinding, so, uh, I, I mean, like, you don't really have enough combo points to keep up Slice and Dice and do Eviscerates. So, I stopped training Eviscerate a while ago. Like, just don't train skills that you don't use. <laughs> Stunned while he's enraged. Keep the tank nice and safe. He's getting that herb. I got some of the other ones. So we can share. We'll pickpocket, cheap shot, slice and dice. Looking good. Forgot the crafted items earlier and put them in the bank for this quest and then I ran to Zulfurok was like, oh yeah, I need to go get those scales for this quest, and now I have a whole bunch of extra. Oh, <laughs> oof. Well, you know, that happens sometimes. That's just, that's just part of it. This guy got pulled back really far. Stun. Don't like him casting those arcane explosions on everyone. The lift mitts. Strength agility. I mean, that's more agility. Yeah, I'd take those. Yeah, they're damage upgrade for me also. Alright, I'm getting them. I'm equipping those. Hell yeah, okay. We got our dog training gloves for when we fight beasts now. And now we got glyphed mitts. Savage Axe of the Monkey. That That's a greed roll. This is a food item. Delete that. Okay. Centurion on the left. It's 
Stealth it up. Pickpocket. Cheap shot. Nice sequence. Centurion. Centurion. This group's going through pretty well. And, like, in all my other dungeon groups, we just, like, massively out-leveled the content. And, like, it was super safe. And it was super chill. And... With the combo points and energy, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find all the weak auras. That's part of the rogue pack you can see on the Discord. All the weak auras, all the add-ons. Oh, male gloves? They're, this can drop off the last boss. Pretty good for Hunter. To go into a dungeon at minimum level before hitting 60 would certainly be some... <laughs> Bro, listen. Look, I'm not trying to get my character killed right before I hit 60, okay? That's not what we're trying to do. Okay, there's just a couple more pulls here. Pickpocket. Pickpocket. Pretty good, pretty good. Finish these off and then I'll have to run all the way back. What happened? Where's... Oh, Hunter's AFK. He's over there. I was like, well, where's the Hunter DPS? Hey, so I'm going to show. Can I ask a question regarding hardcore rules since I'm new? I'm not super well versed in the rules, so I might be able to help you. Of course you can ask. I'll, I'll let you know if I know. We got seven gold, eight silver. How many inventory slots? Two right now. Can you team up with other players while doing a dungeon that are ten levels above you, or is it only five? I don't think there's a restriction on the level difference between the players, but like each dungeon has a maximum level you're allowed to do it at. And that's, as far as I'm aware, all you have to obey. I'm good. Open both of these. So, like, as long as everyone is below the maximum allowed level for the dungeon, you just, you go, you're good. Strong Iron Insignia Chest Guard, Stamina Spirit. I have one inventory slot right now. I would like more inventory slots. Uh, we could do that by crafting bandages. JK, we're already pulling. And you use the auction house to get stuff. You still only get to grab the stuff you loot. At 60, you can trade with people again. I'm not sure if you're allowed to use auction house. I think you're not allowed to use auction house. I blinded to one. Finish him off. 
wizard. Gouged. See that? You see that awareness? That's gaming right there, okay? Mob comes out of crowd control. It's on the healer. Sprint over, gouge it. That's that's what we do here. We're gamers. Unlike this person, Kazuna the Paladin, who just died at level 10. Certified not gamer. Chanting seems useless if you can't get the rods. Yeah, that's that's part of the problem with the uh um That's part of the problem with the no trading restriction. There's a couple things where like one profession relies on another profession, and that's pretty much DOA when you can't trade with people. Like enchanting is kind of scuffed. Our inventory is full again. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. We can save some spots by crafting these. Tailoring secretly bis for bags. I mean, you can get 10 slaughters off of the vendor. You have to, you have to get all the way up to mage weave for tailoring to before you get something better um, bag wise. And then rune cloth will give you 14s. Turn off the add-on trade and turn it back on. Yeah, there is always the Mitch Jones hardcore strategy. Um, some people call it cheating. Other people, you know, just call it the Mitch Jones strategy. It's basically the same thing. All right, we were poison weaving before. Uh, poison craft weaving before. Now we're first aid craft weaving. In between every pull, just try to get a... Yeah, you gotta go to Theramore, there's a castle, and you do a quest called Triage. Edit the add-on to not report when you trade. <laughs> of course. Okay, mob's dead. Craft bandage, quickly. We're working, you know, we're working pretty careful here. One, two, two mobs coming in. Okay. See, look, now we're up to two inventory slots. Get slice and dice up. I spent some combo points on that kidney shot to make sure he's not going to run away. Bandage crafting. I'll switch into a crippling poison for this section. It's not, it's par partially to help the group, also because it frees up an inventory slot, okay? Okay, weaving. First aid craft weaving.
Dude, we're getting mad loot. One, two, we have three inventory slots now. Can work that down. Delete the last of the cloth. Okay, now they're doing something. Wait, I just keep getting more silk cloth. This is never ending. There's no end to the first aid bandage crafting. Yeah, if you're good with code, you can look at the hardcore add-on and just, like, change the verification code. But it's like, you know what? If you want to rob yourself of the, you know, experience, fine. Whatever. Okay, four more. Okay, good. There we go. See if I can trigger a crippling poison on this one. Crippling poison on Kovork's rattle. <laughs> I only get a chance every three seconds from auto attacks, and then I get a chance from my abilities, but, like, that's not enough to, like, super reliably get crippling poison on enemies. See, like, this guy's got it, but the other guy, like, I, I attacked him for a bit and he didn't get it. Razor Blade of Nature's Wrath. Frick. I mean, fine, whatever. I mean, we're just gonna get some other quest weapons that are even better than that. Like, by a lot. Yeah, we're going to get the quest reward sword from this dungeon and the quest reward sword from Razorfin Downs, which is why I'm really like, I don't really care about these other weapon upgrades. Yeah, he dropped some stuff. Okay. Yeah, these are the leather bracers that the the undead zombie boss can drop. Yeah, we're almost through Bellicity. Almost. Will there be deaths? No, of course not. Of course not. We're professional gamers here, okay? You don't die in hardcore like some friggin' noob, like every other streamer. Banded leather bracers, let's go. Oh yeah, dude. 
That's big. I need those. Are we gonna win them though? I think uh, I think uh, multiple people are rolling on those. Oh, we got um. Did they go in my inventory? No, because my inventory is full. There we go. Well, thank you. That's nice. 14 attack power, 4 stamina versus 4 agility, 2 stamina? Yeah, not very close. This is a good upgrade. This is a solid upgrade. What's the matter here? Okay. Okay. There we go. Just a couple more. Uh, just a couple more mobs. We have a little bit to clean out there. Then it's boss time. Crab farming stream. What gives? I mean, we were crab farming before. Like, a long time before. But not anymore. There's no appropriately leveled crabs for us to farm that I'm aware of. Inventory is full. As usual. What can we delete to gain more inventory space? Delete that. Two mage weave claw. Hmm. Jet Chain of the Bear. That's going to be a greed roll from me. Stormwind Bree. I do not want that. It'll be back to instant poison for the boss. We don't need uh we don't need any kind of uh slowing effect on the boss. That's your southern sand crawlers in STV. Oh yeah, there are crabs around there, I think so. We could do that. Alright, let's double poison up. Instant poison, instant poison. And little food buff. Six stamina, six spirit. It's not much, but it's something. I'm down at the bottom too. Okay, okay, good. We'll we'll get back to the crab farming then. Soon enough. Death weed, delete. That's just like Poison Crafting Reagent, a.k.a. Waste of Inventory Space. Ready. Okay. Right, maybe a little bit sus. Okay, threat's looking better now. Can I? I kept combo points on him. Ah, uh, no, okay. I forgot the sequence of this RP. I thought I was gonna be able to, like, use those combo points later if I waited. I was thinking of the wrong part of this. So that was just dumb. Deep sleep. not interrupt this holy smite we tried to once we can now blade flurry and hopefully not pull threat on mograine <laughs> okay white mane slain mograine next let's see it
Okay. Yikes. Coffrey, uh, the, the crabs are just like easy mobs to kill. That's basically all that's going on. They're plentiful, they're easy to kill, so you just kill a bunch of them really quickly and you can get a lot of experience. There we go. Very cool stuff. Stamina and like spirit, not for me. Stamina, attack power, also not really for me. All right, where do we turn this in? Raleigh the Devout in South Shore. All right. We'll get so, uh, Sword of Serenity later. Okay. Yeah, good run, folks. Uh, I got a bounce for some dinner time. Thank you for the run, and... Uh... All right. Uh, it, we did go, like, super late on the stream today. I was, I was not planning to be live this late, so I'm, like, super hungry. We'll go turn in that quest later, get our sword, like, next time we play. For now... Uh, I'm going to say adios to you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, no stream Monday, but then, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, it'll be speed runs as usual. And I'll, I'll, I'll work out the whole rest of the schedule. You can always find the schedule in the streams channel on the Discord. Look right here and pinned. It'll be posted when I have it updated in the pinned section. So, there's that. Thursday to Sunday, D4. Wait, is that really... What day is... For a second. I, I think it starts Friday for Diablo 4. I have to check the exact time zone that that comes available. Let me go on Twitch, see if we can send a raid to anyone else. Um, anyone else who's doing some hardcore stuff. Blazing Bob, Sarth. Dude, we haven't, uh, wait, we haven't raided Sarth in a while. Yeah, we gotta hit up my boy Sarth. We have not sent a raid over 